Let's get this started. So, welcome everybody. Um, this, uh, I'm Kyle Mestri. I'm Armando Migliaccio, the one with the tough surname. Yes. Uh, his, his throat is, you know, his I, voice I, is rough. I, it's been a long week. He made me yell too much. I think I did, definitely, yeah. But it's okay. So we're, yeah. so we're going to talk a little bit about upstream open source networking development. And we've kind of ominously titled the talk. May the I add the that you were the former neutral PTL? For... That's true. That's true, I was. And you're the current neutron PTL. I'm trying to pay you respects yeah. by that's, stepping in. That's good. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Definitely. Okay, so let's... <clears throat> Let's get started. Lots of room up at the front if anyone's interested. Doug, that's you. Okay, so you gotta have a Star Wars quote in a, in a talk like this, right? I mean, it's Thursday afternoon, late in the afternoon, everyone's excited, right? So a long time ago, right, in a galaxy far, far away, look at that. That's networking hardware at one point in time. Doesn't that look fabulous? Could you imagine trying to make that software defined? I mean, that's just, that's amazing. Has anyone worked with a system like that? Anybody? No? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so a brief history of networking. So shall I start? My, my, my great Vanna White here will, will do some things What's with that? the slides. I don't, I don't know. Okay. What is that? Oh, look at these things. This is a history of networking for those of you who, who are new to networking. Look at these great connectors. Does anyone know what these are? Look at that. Ooh, who's used one of those before, right? This is what networking's been like. There we go, the gentleman over here, he's used that. Oh, look at that. What's next? That's great, but this is good, right? The whole point of this is, um, you know, up to this point in time or up until recently, networking, is like a giant black box, right? No one knows what it is. You buy something, the vendor gives you tons of code with tons of features, none of which you're using. You plug things in and you cross your fingers and hope for the best, right? So that's kind of where we're at. So fast forward now, like these jets here. Let's see where we're going here. Fast forward and now we get to the point where it's kind of the wild, wild west at this point in open source networking. There has been an explosion of projects Look at all these projects. I actually missed a lot of projects, right? We have Open vSwitch, the Linux kernel does networking, that dragon thing is Ryu, Open Daylight, everyone knows Open Daylight, Open Switch, Open Stack has Neutron, Midonet, we're not even done, the slide's not full. Oven, Docker, Docker has networking, Lib Network. Look at this, Open Contrail, I may have missed one here. Open Source Routing, my, my, Quagga. My, my finger hurts. It's, it hurts, keep going, we're not done. Onos. There's more. I think we're not done. Calico, we missed one. What did we miss? There's an obvious new one we missed. The Linux Foundation launched it recently. Does anyone know? Someone must know. IOVisor, yes, there it is. That gentleman wins, nice. See, there's, the, point is, the point is that all of a sudden in the last few years, there's been this giant explosion of these networking projects. Some of these have grown organically. Some yeah. of them have been around. You know, a lot of them have been formed by massive corporations coming together and putting some code out. Um, they all operate slightly differently, perhaps, both in how you interact with them, how you use them. I'm not even talking about how you would actually use them, but how do you actually operate inside these communities to be effective? How do you enable your developers to be effective? In these? I'm still trying to figure that out. It's very challenging, and that's what we're here to talk to you about, how you can be effective working in these types of communities. Because ultimately, that's what you want if you're engaging with these communities. Because otherwise, that's what you're going to look <laughs> Otherwise, like. you're going to be a sad baby, for sure. Definitely. No one wants to be a sad baby. Look at that. He needs a hug. Okay. So, four stages of open source networking development that everyone goes through. Um, so, these are like the bad stages, right? So, denial. No, there's no way. We're never going to get that done in that project. Yeah. We can't possibly Oh, do you know, that. we don't want to use it. Right. We don't, we don't even want to use it, maybe. Right. The next stage could be anger. We're not going to use it. Yeah. No it's way, like, for sure. We can do it better. We can do it better. So the next stage, panic. We can do it better. Can we do it better? I don't think we can. Well, no. Maybe we should look at it. We could, yes. Maybe we should start using it. Maybe we should, we maybe we should it. start throwing I think resources we can, at it. I think so. Let's do it. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. We lost the boat. We lost it. Yeah. We left it. So you don't want to be in this stage, right? You don't want to be in this. There's another way to do this. So there ah, is the happy way to do this it. This is the nice way to do it, right? A new project. A new one. Look at this. Let's another at project. It. We're excited. <laughs> What's next? Oh, wait, wait. We don't, we don't have we, the skills we're to not work prepared. on that project. We don't have the developers to do this. What, what are we going to do? What is that, the new, like, oh, Rust? We is can't that, do like, this. We're writing Kubernetes. We're going to fail. No, yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. no. Oh, wait, Hang on. Wait, we can wait. throw money at people. We can hire people. That's yes, all. that's all it takes. Developers, yes. Success. And then you finally... Uh, yes, yeah. we got it. There we go. 
right? So that's what you want to be. You want to be like that. Okay. Gonna. Okay. So yes, I mean, as you obviously explained and you know entertained folks, there are two ways to go up about Definitely. this problem, and you know, trying to embrace these <clears throat> open movements. Uh, yeah. One is you know the, the right way, uh, the way to try and, and tackle these being positive. Very positive. You'd be happy like this baby. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you know, by doing so, you end up having fun along the way, if if you can. Beautiful. Or is the oh. Like, yeah, no, the, you know, hangry way and ultimately you're going to have your liver explode and it's not going to be pretty, you know, your, your medical bills going through the roof. Yeah. And, yeah. That's not going to let me sleep so at night. It's ultimately your call, right? Right. On how you want to tackle this right. problem. I agree. Definitely. So what we're going to go through, like in the rest of this session is to a number of scenarios. We're going to act these yeah. scenarios, and I'm going to be like the, as you may obviously guess knowing me, be the crazy, angry guy. Um, Seems fair. And he's going to be the, like the nice guy who brings me back to the happy path. Yeah. So again, we're going to go through a number of scenarios. Again, yeah. I'm going to be... We'll walk you through. Yeah. I'm gonna, we, yeah. It's gonna, they're going to be pretend scenarios. Yeah. Some of you who may, may be experienced with some of the open source yeah. communities that we've shown may... Have, so, like, yeah. the reference to facts are pure casual. Right, right. The, like yeah, the names have been changed to protect the innocent, basically. Yes, don't worry. But some We've of you, all been here before. Yeah, some of you may know, yeah. may, you know, have a recollection of past events. Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So, Kyle. Yeah. Wait, this is the new contributor one, Yes, right? yeah. I, I'm the new guy. Yeah. I, a new project has showed up. Yeah. I have no idea what it, is, what it is. I may actually come up with something that can turn out to be the next big thing. So, but I, I don't know how to go about it. Um, I come to you. You're yeah. a, you know, yeah. expert guy. You've, Definitely. You've been the visionary. And I, I think I have this great idea. Um, I actually even tried to play with the code a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I managed to get something to work. I have a diff, um, and I think it's going to be great. But since you, you know this is so new, I'm not quite sure how I can go about getting it into the main tree. So why don't you help me out here? Because again, I, I want to do this right. I want to do this right. right. Please help me Definitely. do this right. Definitely. So first of all, welcome to the project. You know, our project is great. We definitely have instructions. We have a wiki. We have things written down. We can just follow these instructions to get your code merged. Um, you know, definitely. Oh, uh, definitely, if you need help, we've got uh, IRC. You can jump on IRC. You can okay. talk with us. The mailing list. Okay. The mailing list is a great place. We use it for everything. Everyone loves everyone else on the mailing list. It's this, true. This um, is, uh, uh, we'll guide you through the process. We're here for you. I have a bad feeling. I mean, oh. I don't know. This sounds like too daunting. I mean, Okay, I first of all, okay. I appreciate your kindness, yes. your help. We're here. And, but I, I thought I had, you know, the code, the diff, it's there, and why don't you oh, just take no. it and run with it? I mean, can oh, you do that? No. Okay, I'm going to give up. I think your project I, is too, uh, it's too hard yeah, to contribute. It's too hard to contribute. I mean, I can't do this. I haven't got time for that. It's like life is short. Yeah. So what can we learn out of yeah. this scenario? Um, Open source, you know, are, are a great way to get to move faster and to to develop ideas and prototype ideas in in, in uh, you know in the most effective way. But some people tend to forget that there is much more than code alone, right? Yes, definitely. You gotta, you gotta basically go throughout the entire race and get to the finish line by ensuring that what you've yeah. written is actually understood beyond just yourself. Right. Or your teammates. Yeah. So documentation is very important. Without documentation, there is really no way that what you've thought is really, yeah. you know, it can be really used or understood by, you know, by by users. Testing is very important. Oh, I mean, there are you, have to you do know, that. like corner cases. Who cares about corner cases, right? You got to have. But those testing. are, you know, Im yeah. it's important to have an exhaustive QA story in place that ensures that what you wrote is actually like work the way it's supposed to. Same with infrastructure, and again, same, same with all the things that are necessary to make a software project complete. Right, definitely. Okay, so next scenario. Let's go to the next scenario here. All right. Next scenario. Ooh, I found a bug. Yes. So yes, I'm a user. you're a user. 
So you found you, a bug. You go across, you know, across yeah. the first hump. Yeah. You got a first release. Yeah. You throw it out there. We're so excited. I'm a user. Yeah. Really excited. Yep. I'm not an expert developer. Code I is try. Out there. I try to. Yeah. To get this. Yeah. Installed. So actually, we're talking about OpenStack here, or maybe yeah. we can talk about any other like Anything. open source project. Yeah. So you may want to try this out on multiple nodes. Yeah. And after many endeavors, I mean, many attempts to get this installed correctly. I was you know, kind of playing with a few instructions here and there, and the system didn't quite behave the way I expected to. I got yeah. like a weird error, like, yeah. okay. like um, you know, 500, the yeah. most useful error ever. Useful, yeah. And I don't know how to go about it, though. So I'm not quite sure where the issue lies, because I mean, I got 500. It's like, yeah. what am I going to do with it? It's a big number. It's a big number. Yeah. It's not like I play to the lot or something. Definitely, yeah. If it was up to 90, then I could use it. But oh, yeah. Up to yeah. 500, That's not so much. So why don't you help me out? Duh. Can you help me out? First of all, you're excited you found a bug. That's great, right? Hey, definitely thanks for popping into IRC and, and presenting your bug to us. Definitely. We're very interested in that for sure, right? So first of all, let's just step, stop for a sec, right? Okay. We're going to help you with this. We've got it. We can do this together, right? So um, tell me a little bit about what you're trying to do. Oh, it would also be helpful if you had documented the steps on how you found the bug. But even before we get to that, what version were you running? It helps to know the version, too. So there's a bunch of things we'd love to collect. We can definitely help you once we get this information. OK. So yeah. first of all, I yeah. appreciate you coming back okay. to me. But yeah. it took you quite a while to come back to me. Yeah, I know. And I was in the lunch. process. Like, I got I married. Lunch. I had a baby. Uh, I bought a, a long house. lunch. <laughs> and <laughs> it was like. I'm afraid I don't have the environment I'm anymore. I'm really full. <laughs> I, I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I, you know. I mean, and, and OK, you know what? Never mind. The issue is yeah. going to stay there, and no one is going to fix it. It's easier to complain about it and not, you know, it's easier, <laughs> definitely. So OK, so, so maybe that wasn't an exact se sequence. I mean, no one has a baby while you're eating lunch. That's well, I sure guess, have. But, Eight months ago. OK, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So OK, so, so how can you do this, right? You're using one of these projects. You're excited. And guess what? We're all human. You know, we do our best to QA stuff upstream, all these projects do, the contributors do. You're inevitably going to find bugs, right? It's software. So, so what can you do? All these projects have a bug tracker. They have to, of some sort. Some of them are very rudimentary, and we'll show you later in the presentation. Some suck, some don't. Some suck and some don't, right? But that's fine, you know. So report the bug. Um, include relevant information, uh, which includes versions, what you were running, how many of different things you were running, the operations you did to do this. Um, include steps on how to reproduce it as well. Some projects may have a template for this even where they'll, oh, yeah. they'll ask you like, hey, you're filing a bug, um, go ahead and fill this out so we, we can proactively collect stuff as well. Um, but and also, uh, wait, wait. Please wait. You have to wait. Patience is important. Patience. No question, not yet. You gotta wait. You that, just interrupted me in the middle of you saw a bug in the, in the uh -oh. file a bug, follow the instruction. Yes, yeah. Come back to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. After the summit. After, after the, the week. Summit. The this week is a busy week. Summit. We're not looking at bugs this week. So, so it's a. Pace yourself. Relax. Patience. So, listen. We'll you know, get there. Yeah. The, we, but you we, better stick with us. Stick with us. Try again on IRC. Just if you case. give up. That was my, my yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, right? So, you know, if no. Uh, anyways, <laughs> patient. It, we're. we're we're having fun up here, we know, but but definitely, but you know, it's it's late it, in the it, afternoon. It's right? late in the afternoon. It's late in the week. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's go to the next scenario. How okay, about, so uh, this scenario uh, is the developer scenario. Oh yeah. Oh, this person I found, found a bug, bug <sighs> but I I was the one who added the bug. <laughs> oh, you came with code. Yeah, nice. So it's self-inflicted pain. Yes, definitely. Actually, I did develop a feature, and with it, I brought like 50 bugs with it. Of course, I'd expect nothing less. Right? Because otherwise, I, how can I keep my stats up? Right? <laughs> Stack I gotta, I gotta, is important. I gotta have to beat Kevin. Oh my! To, like have my Listen, stats. Listen, so. I'm sorry. If that's your goal, you should leave now. No one is gonna beat Kevin. Why? I'm sorry. I thought that that's the way you can get to. Well, it's be true. Known, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Listen, you're community. never gonna beat the proposal bot, so stop trying. All right, okay, right. Fair enough. It's just not gonna happen. So, okay, so let's walk through this. In all seriousness, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be the developer yes, who's yeah. found the bug, and yes. I even have an attempt. You know, I even have a fix. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. Can you, you ask for more? Uh, you, oh, you have your fix. I have. This is I mean, great. This is great. But, okay. Let me see. Oh, but oh, I am not quite sure whether my fix is right. So I need oh. you to guide me, oh. because you're the guy who knows we, the architecture. You're the guy who built this, you know, who built the I, wider thing that what I'm plugging into. I know, yeah. And I yeah. need you to tell me whether what I'm doing is Perfect. exactly 
oh, the right this is good. thing to go about. Definitely. Okay, so let's see. So, okay, so hold on a sec. Let's look. Let me look at the code. I'm sorting this out. Um, you know, Rhett, uh, this isn't quite the right fix. This doesn't sound it's good. It's not the right fix. Also, you have issues. For I one, I some do of have your issues. comments are not spelled issues. correctly. Okay, okay, so you got issues there. Um, I'm going to make these comments, uh, and then I'd like you to make all of these changes, please, and submit a new version. Okay. Thanks. So, yeah. again, very helpful. Yeah. I mean, you're a star. But I got another review. I got I to gotta tell you, I mean, yeah. someone else told yeah. me exactly the opposite of what you well, just told me. That I mean, just happens. saying. That never happens. Ju just saying. But okay. Okay. even if I want to listen to oh. you because you oh. do one that's more important yeah. than the other guy, yeah. I really haven't got time for that. I mean, why can't you take the fix and work from it. Well, hold on, hold on, don't go. We're close, right? We're close. But you just to make these small changes. Don't leave. I'm, I'm just telling you to make these changes. It's straightforward. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had this patch it's running very, like for a year and a half. It's very close. You're very close. Just hold it's on. It's like four releases that I'm trying to just, make this merge. You're close. Oh, Come on. Okay, that's it. You're not merging my bug. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I give up. I mean, you give up. This okay. is too hard. This is too hard. Okay. So what are we trying to teach here is that, you know, the whole process is, you know, is an endurance, yeah. right? You gotta, you gotta go through a number of marathon, not yeah, a sprint. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah. I mean, some can, you know, some can yeah. be easy. Right. Some are, are trickier. Some may unveil issues, more larger issues that need to be tackled in a stepwise fashion. Yeah, I think so. So be patient. Yes. Um, you know. Take whatever uh, enhancement drug you. Take no, feedback. No, 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 I didn't say that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't take the feedback personally. Not take the feedback, yeah, Don't absolutely. take the feedback personally. Absolutely. Yeah. But be sure to make it a constructive yes. experience. Definitely. Make a friend. Make a Friends, friend. yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. OK, let's see. We got a couple more of these, I think. Everyone's excited, I can tell, right? At oh, least someone laughing. Oh, look at this, right? You, now you've moved beyond bug fix. I, you, I have become abstract you, thought. I'm, I'm, you know, you're a, I'm you're no longer a, full, a human. You I, have a feature. That's right. I, I'm, yes. like, I'm the architect guy, the, yes. you know, the, the philosophical thinker. Yeah. And I think I've made you've got this. discovered the yeah. next big thing. Yeah, and definitely. I, I want to donate it to humanity, uh, to the project. Humanity is the same. The same, yeah, okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So I realized that so far, I mean, <laughs> I may not be much of a, like a developer. Yeah. Again, I, I've, yeah. I've won to the next You're, stage. Right. I've evolved. You've done a couple of bug fixes. It's time for a feature. Exactly. Yeah. I, I got promoted, by the way. Right. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, a big nice. pay rise. Nice. Yeah, Very I changed good. companies five times. No, that's even so better. So and, uh, okay. Fair so, uh, any go. Okay. So, yeah, I was given a mission by my new employer. Okay. That doesn't have a clue of what I'm what we're okay. doing. And um, so this feature I've got. Yeah, you've got a feature. It's fancy. I, Everyone wants it. Yeah. I mean, I haven't fully formulated it. Yeah, that's so, okay. So, you know, we can go through the process together, I, I guess. But okay. So let's see. Let's see what you got there. Let's take a look at this feature. Have a look. Let's, oh, um, it's not a bad idea. It's not too bad, you know. Um, People do propose crazy ideas like this sometimes, you know. But you're a pretty level-headed guy, so you know. Let's see. Thank let's you. continue the conversation. I'm, I went through a process, right, yeah. to get to the stage where I am. Right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm sure. Exactly. Yeah. Five jobs is a lot. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's no, okay. I mean. Yeah. Thank you, by the way, for the oh, compliments. No and, problem. Uh, I'm really excited. Yeah. So, how shall we go about, you know, oh. making this feature wow. integrated in your project? Oh, oh, time out. Time out. Oh, I just said I liked you. I didn't say we were merging your feature. Oh. Okay, just relax, I right? I thought there was No, 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 no. There's a couple of things, right? We have to consider, right? There's a lot of things that could happen here. There's dependencies, you know. Um, you know, honestly, do you have unit tests even for the feature yet? Have you thought about how we can test this functionally with the rest of the I system? I thought I could get someone else to write Documentation. This, so. I like your feature, but I don't know how to use it at all, you know. Can you help us with these things? These are really great things. We can get your feature in. Can't you get someone else to do it? Uh, no, hold on. Just relax. But We're going to get you there. I just know, need to do these few things. But I, I know I, I'm gonna start to cry in a minute. Oh, I mean, it's like it's like I've tried many, many no, times. No, just a couple to keep of pushing things. back. I mean, I oh. can't do anything in this project. No, don't worry. So, no, you must accept my feature. Right? No, no, that's. So let's see. So what what did we kind of learn through? That was actually pretty good. I like that one a lot. Yeah, too. that was good. Yeah. What did we learn? Right. Okay. So you know, a lot of these projects. Um, a lot of these projects have a roadmap, right? Uh, it depends, right? The projects that we presented before, and we'll, again, we'll talk about this in a little more detail, 
um, have different ways of tracking features, how they accept new features. Some of them have a very complicated process, and some of them just use a mailing list. Yeah. But figure that out before you jump in with your 5,000 line patch. Figure out how they digest new features, how it works. Um, and guess what? The project might not be interested in your feature, perhaps. That's, you know, it, it happens. That allows Does it align with the goals, right? I mean, is it within the scope of the project? So these are all, these are all good things. OK. So let's see. Uh, all right. So, so next we have, uh, we've advanced scenario. beyond uh, architect to, what yeah. are we now? I mean, now I've become a troublemaker. Now you're a troublemaker. Like, I've realized that I can do anything in this project. Yeah. I'm just going to try it's, to It's not a shoot it feature, down. it's a project now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to subvert up. you. Right, OK. So I think okay. I've had enough. OK. So you're Fair doing enough. me wrong. Yeah. Let me take over. OK. Because uh, you clearly have no clue. Uh, oh, really? I, I mean. Let's start from a clean slate, okay? okay? Sorry, I take it back. Okay. I take it back. Okay. I want to be nice. You're going to be nice. I would like to you know, innovate after all. Yes. You have the same idea, right? Yeah, the same, same intention. We want to so, just be successful together. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, okay, let's start fresh. Uh, wait a sec. Uh, you want to start a whole new project? Um, wait a sec. Hold on. You know, someone's already kind of proposed this before. Um, Someone's already started this idea a bit, right? We have some people working on this. It's not quite done. It would no, be but, great if we could get you to work with those you people. See, see, you're kind of missing the point. Oh, Because the point course. is that the project I'm proposing, yeah. it's, it's doing it better. I mean, what oh. you're doing is not quite what I need. And okay. I don't, it's close. I mean, it's really obvious yeah. to me alone oh, okay. and to my peers right. and to my boss. And that. What, which job now? Still on five? Uh, no, I think I, I now changed you're on six. the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I so, think that we should start from scratch. No, 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 no. no. And what you've I, done, I, it's like, you know. This, no, no, eh, I don't. It's a pet project. I don't really think so. I don't think we should, right? We can experiment. Sometimes we fail. We try things and we fail, right? You know? Um, but you're going to face an uphill battle, I think, going down this. Yeah, but see, you're not listening. I'm already, I'm already going down that path. Uh, I'm already creating that project. OK, that's no good, right? So, hey. hey, look, at you have a great idea. Can I replace you entirely and still be a part of your community? Yeah, so, no. <clears throat> what have we learned out of this scenario? That, you know, sometimes it's easy, the, you know, it's easy to take the easy way out. Sure. Right? Yeah. Um, That's why it's the easy way out. Exactly. Why, why would you call it otherwise? Yeah. I mean, and, definitely. You know, we need to be conscious that things can be tough, and we need to assess whether really there is an extent for trying to find why the communication is breaking down, right? Right. Between, between various, various people and... Right. Sometimes they're talking like this. Right. We've so got to align to if, figure it out. If you don't formulate the problem space well, right. if you don't formulate the, the it, rationale behind... It could be behind, that uh, your new project could be satisfied by some existing work we have. Or maybe there is a teeny tiny enhancement that you could do. Right. You know, Instead maybe, of a maybe, whole new Maybe project. it's just communication breakdown. Right? Yeah. Maybe we're not talking... I'm talking like yeah. with an accent and you can't really hear me. I mean, that you happens. are difficult to understand. I know. It's true. So we're going to find yeah. a way to, yeah. you know, to, yeah. uh, to, can, to find, and, you know, yeah. a common ground where we Definitely. can go and, and work together. Yeah, totally. So don't just give up. Don't give up. And uh, Stick there is with even it. a song about that. Yeah, right? don't I think up. there is, yeah. yeah. Van Halen, right? Yeah. Yeah, OK. okay. I think Someone we got, got one Van more. Halen reference. This is it. Oh, we've moved on to our favorite one now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the, after these many jobs, I become an executive. You're an executive now. Right? Yeah. I'm no Open I'm source no, is I no strategic. I want to use it in my project. I no longer write code. Yeah, you don't write code anymore at all, right? But okay. I obviously, in the food chain, I'm sure. not really higher up. You're making decisions now. I'm making decisions. Mover and shaker. That's right. Yeah. So my boss wants my team, yeah. the team I manage, yeah. Yeah. Like to adopt the project of, you know, in my organization. OK. So Great. I've kind of, obviously, or, you know, yeah. looked at this project for a while. Yeah, and I, I made the recommendation, obviously, yeah. say, OK. This yeah. could be useful to us. Yeah. So you know, great. Uh, we're definitely happy to see that. Uh, we actually love when we get new organizations in like that. Um, you know, it would be excellent if you could send some of your developers. I mean, even yourself, if you have time, uh, and attend some of our meetings. You know, we've got some great needs. We need some people to help with documentation. Um, sometimes our, you know, our CI system. It's Doesn't great, work. but sometimes it breaks. It would be awesome if we could have people helping with that, too. Uh -oh. uh, if this is going to power your company, it would be awesome to have you working on this, too. I'm getting a, the wrong vibe here. 
and uh, it sounds like an awful lot of work. And it, you've yeah. seen up until now, like our experience has gone yeah, so far. It's, it's, it's not been, been rocky. It's been, it's to been say the least, bumpy. I mean, yeah, we had we hit some rough patches. There's so been rough patches. We're mostly interested in 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 taking the code that you ah, would. Okay. As, even though it's yeah. buggy and it's yeah. not really, it's, it's not really buggy. doing what what we right. want to do. But what we could do yeah. is that you know. We can ask you to add features. We okay. can, you know, we can add features can internally, add features. but we're probably gonna take them, keep them just ourselves. Ah, okay. Well, you know what? Great. We we've talked about this before. You can request features following the way that we have written down. Um, but you know, I gotta say again, oh, you're a big organization. It'd be great to get your help with documentation, for example, since you're using it. You're gonna use the code. You could help with the documentation, so others could also use it. Great as well. But we're just a bunch of developers. We're trying our best. But hang on, if I have to hire yeah. a doc resource, so yeah. will, how am I gonna get my bonus? Oh, that's I mean, true. Actually, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think I have the bandwidth. I mean. Uh, all, the, all the budget that i given to my department, I'm going to take oh, it for myself and for my travels. Right? No, no, I'm gonna no, no, travel. no, come on, don't do that. Stay with us here again, right? You're going to make customizations yourself, you know. You're not gonna, those aren't going to be upstream. Come on, stay with us, right? I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah, we plan to leverage open source, right? So, so you know, um, it's great that open source is strategic. Open source is a community. It takes people being a part of that community and jumping in. Um, you know, um, so definitely, right? If it's evaluate how strategic these projects are, if they're if they're that strategic, you should definitely have people involved in working on it. Definitely, it's going to help the project as a whole. It's going to keep life into the project and 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 you know bring it along. So so definitely consider that. So now that we've kind of gotten through the the funny, we thought it was funny. It, it was I, I, anyways I, I, the funny it part. Was, I, I, so, I did hear laugh. There was a little bit of laughing. That was just celebratory though. It wasn't. Oh else. okay. Yeah yeah. So, so we thought we would now go through, as we mentioned, and, and um, we wanted to compare like live examples of what we just talked about. So we thought we'd take three projects in the networking realm, Open vSwitch, um, OpenStack Neutron, and Open Daylight, and walk yeah. through and compare some of these things. They all so start with open. They do. Uh, They're all open, right? So project communication. This is a critical piece for all of these <clears> projects, for anything you want to work with. Definitely critical. So, you know, we thought we'd take a look, um, and we'll be posting the slides later. The links are useless on the screen right now, but they're there. Um, so, you know, it's you can Google these too, but 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 all of these projects use mailing lists to various degrees. They all have you know a large number, wide and tall of mailing lists. So, yeah, there's we, many. We try to innovate and change the networking tools, but we're yeah. still using communication we're tools. We're still using mailing from lists from the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, they all have IRC as well. Um, OpenStack, it turns out, does have a SIP voice conferencing option that they use occasionally, and Open Daylight makes use of WebEx for, for phone conversations. Open vSwitch is, is not applicable there. Well, no, no, well, it's yeah. so bad. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that, maybe they'll, they'll They're very that. old school. But I mean, I think what is important here to yeah. note is that also we, or as the folks who are involved in these yeah. communities, they try to There's identify ways where <clears throat> you can have cross, you know, cross project communication. So for instance, for yeah. IRC, there are channels that so tend to uh, tries to bridge yeah. uh, open, the open vSwitch community and the open stack community and, yeah. and you know open stack with open yeah, daylight. Yeah, because the reality is is op you know Neutron and Open Daylight both use open vSwitch, yeah. for example. Those so if you find a bug, you're not sure Right. I mean, it what could be an open vSwitch. But bug. the thing is that yeah. these these communication mechanism, you know, media may not necessarily be advertised anywhere. That's true. So if you don't find, you know, if you're wondering that yeah. there must be a way yeah. to communicate on a specific issue, come and uh, come and talk to the people who are involved in the individual project to see yeah. whether there is hidden knowledge. That's whether there's, there's something hidden. I agree, definitely. So let's see. So infrastructure and documentation as well. So this one's interesting to look at from the perspective of where is the actual code for these projects. Um, Open vSwitch, it turns out, uh, within the last year moved to GitHub. So they have a project there. They actually have two repositories now. The oh, Open vSwitch one. Just two? Well, like they have Neutron has 20 or something. I know, right, but yeah. it's Open vSwitch and Oven uh, are in one repository, and there's a new scale testing repository, so two. Oh. Um, OpenStack uses Garrett. There's a lot of uh, <coughs> projects that Neutron has. Um, Open Daylight also has probably more than Neutron, actually, projects and repositories. Yeah. Um, documentation, this varies from these, some of these projects use wikis. Some of them have very, very good documentation. Um, the networking guide on Neutron is pretty good, I'd say. It has um, become pretty good. Yeah. And some of the documentation is in the source tree, and some of it is in another guide that gets published in a different way. 
Um, and look at this, there's links here, and again, you can grab these slides later, but they all have new contributor documentation. So if you want to contribute to one of these projects, the projects have taken the time to write up um, how they would like you as a new contributor to jump in, which I think is really nice and really critical if you want to jump in. Yeah, but then again, I mean, if yeah. you want to bring, you know, wire all these things together, I mean, yeah. you got to, there, there may be lack of, you know, cross-project documentation, but I mean, Definitely. if you look deep enough or you ask for help, you would find that after all, even though the documentation may be patchy, there are places, uh, there are places that would allow you to better understand how these bits and pieces oh, definitely. work together, right? So, and even for instance, when you want to deploy these technologies together, they may yeah. even be like hidden software gems that help you like pull from, from source and, right. you know, compile and deploy and that right. type and, of stuff. And cross project wise, I mean, you know, like there's an example like the, the oven, the best oven deployment guide is actually in the OpenStack networking OVN repo. Yeah, it just yeah. turns out. So that's an example of that. So, okay, so you want to file a bug. Um, where do you go? Now, this one is really varied. Uh, this is actually one of the most interesting slides, I think, because so for Open vSwitch, if you find a bug, you go to the mailing list. That's what they do. Uh, it's, that's how they track bugs. You could argue whether that's a good thing or not, but that's the way it is right now. Um, the, vo the volume is low there, so I think that's why that works at this point. There are no bugs. Well, and there are no bugs. That's the other reason, let's be honest. It's so, so that's fine. Um, OpenStack uses Launchpad to track bugs. Uh, we have a beautiful template, I think, for what we want information-wise yeah. when you file a bug. Um, so that's really useful. Um, Open Daylight um, has a wiki page that takes you to their Bugzilla. Um, and the wiki page is there because it depends on which project in Open Daylight you're using. That'll help guide you how to file the bug. Um, the bugs are tracked, um, just mailing list, yeah. and occasionally GitHub issues for Open vSwitch. Um, and then, of course, Launchpad and Bugzilla. Um, mailing list really drives everything for OVS. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty yeah I mean, and then again, here, what happens when, when we're trying these technologies together and we find integration issues? Where, where, like, you know, where would, where you, would go? you go? So, again, <clears throat> you can try and make an educated guess. Obviously, if you cannot, try and reach out to understand where the issue may lie, and you can direct, direct obviously, your yeah. energy in the, right, in the right project. And um, typically, you know, what you go and about it is, how the way you go about it is try to yeah. Use the right communication tool to talk to the right people, get a sense of where things, you know, yeah. are breaking, and, and then you proceed from there. You, you proceed from there. Then you go from there, <coughs> exactly. So, if you, you want to add a new feature, um, it's a common theme, open vSwitch, you could discuss this on the mailing list. That's where the feature will also be tracked. Um, uh, for OpenStack Neutron, we have some nice documentation that talks about how you want to add a new feature and how you could do it, how it's all tracked. Um, for Open Daylight, if you want to add a new feature, if it's part of an, exi uh, an existing project, there's documentation on how to do that. If you want to add a new project, there's also documentation on how to do that. Yeah. Pretty and simple. It, it, it sounds pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, may, diffi may be difficult sometimes. Yeah, but, it can I be. mean, at the end, because, I mean, there is always, you know, there may be, like, you know, gray yeah. lines, right, along the road. It's, it but can be what, the good thing is yeah. that in most cases, you have people working on, on, on more than one project, right? Yes. So you may try and leverage that, that expertise. Yes. Because those guys have gone through this process before you. Definitely. So you can, you know, you can ask for guidance. And mm -hmm. maybe you, you know, you're required to work on both projects. Yeah. Maybe don't think at first, but do not despair. Yeah. Um, yeah. It happens. I mean, sometimes, you know, it's, uh, you're chewing on something that's probably too yeah. hard. <laughs> well, or sometimes but, your feature can span multiple projects. Right, of like course. The, 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 the OVS-based firewall stuff that spanned in the connection yeah. tracking in OVS down into the kernel. So there's, there's a lot of that, too. Um, so project evolution. Um, so where are these projects? Where did they start? Where are they going to? So OVS uh, kind of started with a small core group of contributors. Um, it's evolved to taking on a, a whole new project, which is Oven, so kind of growing slowly but surely. Um, currently, no foundation, though that's being talked about, uh, potentially moving OVS to the Linux Foundation. Um, OpenStack, uh, the great quote, rough consensus of many disparate groups into one code base. Um, and it's focused, uh, a focused group of repositories, very focused. We're, Sharp focus. we're sharpening it again as we go. Um, and of course, the OpenStack Foundation runs OpenStack Neutron from a foundation perspective. Um, Open Daylight, uh, many separate groups under the same large umbrella, autonomously moving around. Um, more and more projects, putting more things in there under the umbrella, um, and the Linux Foundation runs that. 
Yeah. Well, I have nothing yeah. to add to this slide. That's, that's a beautiful blowing. slide. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're almost done here, right? So, so practical advice. Practical advice. We yes, wanted please. to leave you with practical <laughs> advice on how to succeed upstream, right? So, plan ahead. You don't want to end up like this sign, right? So, if you're going to go ahead, you know, if you're going to engage, make sure you plan ahead for engaging with these open source projects. Otherwise, you'll end up with your D below your A. You don't want that. <laughs> that looks ugly. Uh, it does. So, yeah. so respect. It is pretty simple. If you're going to engage with these projects, you know, you got to give some respect to, to get some respect back. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, it's Treat people the same yeah. way you want to be treated. That's pretty much, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much. Unless you else. treat people mean, then don't treat them the same way you want to be treated, you know. Yeah, I mean, and it may happen in some yeah. circumstances where you play nice and you're yeah. not treated fairly. It's back. People's it feelings get hurt, yeah. But, I mean, that's, yeah, that's but, sometimes but generally, how it works. Yeah, but generally, give people respect, right? So, uh, you kind of, same thing, right? If you give a little love, you can get a little love of your own, right? You know? Okay. That one didn't work, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but it really is all about the little things. And we've kind of been stressing that, but, but it's great, you know, the little things are what make it successful, right? The human interactions, the yeah. QA, the uh, I mean, documentation, start, all know, the things start around the nimble, right? right. Don't, be, don't be too ambitious. Right. I mean, Jump uh, in and update a wiki. Don't, don't you know, if you, if you, you know, are, are humble and yeah. you come yeah. to a community, you, approach a community and you start a bit of lead work and yeah. then you, you know, get more visibility, you get more recognition, people start uh, appreciating you'll, what you're doing. and You'll they, build the relationships to build be successful. Right. Yes, exactly. That's what I think, yeah. It's not like I come in and say, you know what, get out of the way. Right. They go over. Don't do that, right? <clears throat> so, so, and, and uh, uh, you know, empower. Empower your open source developers, yeah. right? Let your people go and be successful. Let them build the relationships it takes to be successful. Um, let them succeed. Um, let them work them for, um, for, you know, yeah. full time on a project. Let them work, well, that'd be excellent, but even part time, if you can give them some time. But let them be successful, enable them to be successful upstream, I think. And then, and then obviously, right, you know, just be excellent to each other. Bill and Ted had really said it To best. be honest with you, I have never watched that movie. Oh. I'm sorry. It's I should have watched I actually had an action to, to watch, watch this it movie and you before never the did. session. I never did. Okay. I thought it was, I heard it was a good movie. It's a good movie. Okay. Okay. So, really, that's, that's all we had. Um, I guess we have a little bit of time for questions, a few minutes, if anyone. I know it was daunting. Um, to meet yeah, maybe topic. it was, wasn't exactly the content you were looking for, but we're here to answer yeah. any, any. We definitely are. <laughs> that happens anyone, too, right? Is anyone ready? Yep. A little bit about how you prioritize uh, getting features and functions into projects. Oh, that's a great. Yeah. That's a great question. That's yeah. an excellent question. And actually, you don't. You don't. That's the <laughs> <laughs> Next question. No. <laughs> okay, I can elaborate on yeah. that. But I mean, I must admit, the as soon as no. I got over as PDL, yeah. the, one of the you know one of the yeah. things that I changed in the process is that get rid of the priorities. Yeah. Yeah. I tried basically to do something different and, and trying to identify the importance of a feature. So that you can try and change the perception of the urgency to get the feature done. Because ultimately, when you're when you're in an open source community, and especially as a PTL or as a as a person who's supposed to drive, you know, herd a bunch of cats, like you're really not that yeah. able to steer them in the right direction. So it is a you know a mind bending exercise so that they can do whatever you want to do. But sometimes you're unsuccessful, sometimes you are unsuccessful. So if the group of people you work with are obviously like-minded, you can do that type of, okay, this is more important, we should focus on this first and do this first, or not. But ultimately, it's down to, okay, I want to take this feature and I, and I want to you know, get it to completion, and some, someone else wants to take the feature and get it to completion, and it's really down to f making sure that the two things don't collide and see who obviously gets, gets to, the end, you know, to the end goal first. But yeah, I mean, priorities are, 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 a challenging, um, are a challenge in open source because again, you are effectively not in control of the resources that, that participate right. in the open source. Right, makes it hard. <clears throat> but excellent question. You really like, you were spot on. <laughs> we I, didn't plan that we haven't, yeah, yeah, we haven't paid the guy. Yeah. I think we have a little bit of, yeah, a couple more minutes. Any more questions from anyone or? I mean, I guess we started a minute early, so, you know. Well, yeah. Shall we give them a minute? Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, thank you for, for coming to our discussion. Thank you. Thanks.